How you doing there? Okay, tell me uh, what's going on here today. Um, we're having um, there's a rally or protest going on for the board school that's coming into our building. Um, a lot of us don't feel that it's right that the school is coming in and getting a lot of funding that it's getting when our school has been needing a lot of money and we haven't been getting it from the board of education. Um, we're also having a, a senior bake sale, okay. raising money for the seniors. Yeah, I see, I see, I see. Yeah, so you're having a seat. This is a good way. So how long? So how long have you been keeping up this fight? Is the students really understand what's going yes, on here? Yes, we, um, well, we, we, yeah, we've been, we haven't had a lot of information um, given to us by the Board of Education. Everything's been last minute. It's but been last minute. Yeah, okay, do you um, think that's by design? Yeah. Would you, th would you say so too? Yes. Yes. Um, they're trying to keep us, like, um, I feel like they're trying to keep us, uh, yeah. They're trying like, to keep us out of the loop. Uh, with a lot of things, they're trying to keep us out of the loop. They haven't told, they told us a lot of things the last minute, like we didn't find out certain things until the last minute. You, do you think that's democratic? No. Is that a good model for adults to children? Not at all. Not at all. Are you disappointed? Yes. And what do you plan, you and your, your students, what do you really plan to do about it? Make sure that our voices are heard. That we want them, just because they have power doesn't mean we don't have our voices and we're going to be heard. And, and so what's, what are some of the ways uh, you're using what are some mediums that you, you're using um, well, to we, get your um, voices heard? A lot of students have written papers and um, essays and stuff about that. And um, and, okay. um, we've been having, uh, we've um, protested and gone to all the hearings that we've heard about. Even if it was last minute, a lot of our um, um, people from student government have went to these. So students are being proactive. Yes. And, and a lot of adults don't expect students to be no, proactive. They, they don't. <laughs> and uh, how can we reach you on Facebook? How can we find out more about your organization? An um, email address? I'm pretty sure our school website, ssfr.org. Um, there's a whole bunch of emails. Um, our, our, our principal. And, yeah. Are your principal supporting this? Yes. Okay, good. Okay. And what's your name again? Helen Gonzalez. Okay, so, and how do you be, get contacted through your... Uh, how do we contact you? Through Dollar. the school newspaper? Um, um, if you have an email? I, yeah, I have email address. Shout it out to other students because I'm going to put um, this up on Facebook. Okay, hgonzalez719 at gmail.com. Okay, thank you so much. Which is again on January 19, 2011, 
at 6 p.m. The email address and phone number where comments can be made are hs.proposals at schools.nyc.gov. That's hs.proposals at schools.nyc.gov. The phone number is 212-374-0208. Again, the phone number is 212-374-0208. The proposal summary for Millennium Brooklyn High School, 15K684. Millennium Brooklyn High School is a new selective high school which the New York City Department of Education is proposing to site in school building K460, located at 237 7th Avenue, Brooklyn, New York, 11215, in community school. Is in the assembly district that I am privileged to represent and has been so for 26 years. And I want to say that the uh, Millennium proposal is an absolute egregious, devastating insult to the existing.